Hi, everyone. So we'll see uh, one more uh, important interview question. Uh, whoever having uh, Informatica data quality knowledge, for them, it will be very useful because nowadays they're asking that, so suppose if you're attending an interview, if you know this, both the skills like Informatica and Informatica data quality, okay? So what is the major differences between this Informatica and Informatica data quality? Okay, so let me explain what are the differences we have. So this is a one more frequently asked interview question. Suppose if you have an additional skill called Informatica data quality, we call it as IDQ, which is like frequently used nowadays in learning points. Okay, so if you see that Informatica and IDQ, both are Informatica components only. Okay, but the thing here is Informatica data quality will have all the ETL transformations, I mean, Informatica transformations, whatever we have. Plus, you may have 13 to 14. I mean, or, or as you can see, like around 15 transformations is extra. So many companies nowadays is preferring if you have like an additional skill called IDQ along with Informatica. Suppose if you only know this IDQ, they will not take. Okay, so you should have a experience of Informatica. So top of that, if you know IDQ, so it will be like additional advantage and so you will have like less competition. Okay, so the main difference here, you should, I mean, um, not a difference exactly. So first you should understand that what is IDQ. So IDQ also is Informatica component only. IDQ will have all the Informatica transformations, whatever you have along with that you have more than 15 transformations. Additionally, it is going to add, I mean, top of that you have 15 transformations extra. So majorly Informatica data, uh, sorry, data quality, which is used to perform this standardization and cleansing. Okay, so standardization to standardize some data and cleansing is something, but just like clean up the data and provide a consistent data. So for that reason, we use this Informatica data quality. Okay. But what is the major difference between this Informatica data quality and Informatica? So why IDQ have more demand than Informatica? So why do we learn this IDQ? Okay, so let me, let me explain. So if you take Informatica, suppose let's see you have a one to one mapping. So I have a source and I have a target. Okay, I want to run this mapping. I want to see the data. Okay, even though it is like a one-to-one -one mapping, okay, 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 let me like write like this. Even it's like a one-to-one -one mapping also, what you have to do in Informatica, you have to create a, you have to create a session and workflow. Then you have to execute that. Then only we can able to see the target data what is available in the target. So what data is extracted from the source, okay? That is the first, first thing you have to notice. But coming to IDQ, even though you have like 20 to 30 transformations and you have one source and you have three targets, like whatever it is, okay? Without, I mean, creating a session and workflow, you can directly execute the mapping and you can see the result. I mean, you can load the data, not see the result. You can directly load the data. So no need to create a session and workflow. It will save a lot of time. So no need to create session and workflow. Got the point? This is the first difference. So in Informatica, so if you want to execute a one-to-one -one mapping also, there should be a session and workflow. Without that, you cannot execute any of the mapping. But coming to Informatica data quality, even though you have n number of transformations and you have a multiple sources and you have multiple targets, we no need to worry about that. You can simply run the mapping itself and you can load the data. So here it is saving a lot of time. Okay, that is first difference. Second thing is, in Informatica, let's see you have a source 
source qualifier, then you have an expression, there is some filter, there is some aggregator, then you have connected to target. So you have implemented some logics in between. Okay. So in Informatica, what you will do if you want to see that whether your logic is working or not, what you have to do, you have to run the mapping. There is, I mean, you have to run the workflow. There is no other way, right? So, so what, what will happen if you run right? There is a possibility of getting the errors. Why? Because there will be a manual mistakes, right? So because we are a human being, so suppose if you write some code, there may be a mistake. So what will happen if you run that? Sometimes you may not get the expected result due to some error. I'll give a simple example. So you are very strong in coding. So if anyone working on the flat files, so we have to trim the data. Sometimes what will happen, you are performing some join or you are performing some lookup, I mean, condition. Due to some space, you may not able to load the data because it, it is a mismatch because even though data is correct, due to space condition is not matching, you are not able to load the data. So if you want to see that, where it has got failed, it's very difficult to check in Informatica. That means if you, I want to check whether my logic is working or not, so it's not possible to check in transformation level in Informatica. So we have a debugger, but everyone knows that it's simply a namesake. If you have huge volumes of data, it will get filled. Okay. So if you want to check whether your logic is working or not in transformation level, but coming to IDQ, we have an option called run data viewer. Okay. So we have an option called run data so what is the use of run data viewer is you can right click on each and every transformation and you can see that what is the data is coming from that. So it is not it's not like informatica debugger running that is getting failed, not like that. It will simply show you the preview of so thousand records. I mean what you set. Okay. So it will just give the preview. Like each and every transformation we can see the data of, sorry, each and every transformation, we can see the data. But coming to Informatica, it's not possible. So what will happen if you see that every transformation, it is easy to identify the error. And also, once you complete your mapping, there is very less chances to get the errors. Okay, that is for the second difference. Third difference is, so if anyone, join to your project very i mean recently so because they are not familiar with the mappings what we have done so usually what what we will do if you join to the project we we will refer the existing project we refer other people i mean what mapping they have created it suppose there is a similar requirement i want to just view the mapping and i want to design the code so such case informatica what we will do we will just connect a designer then we'll open one more designer and just we are viewing that and we, we just we design the code. Sometimes there is a possibility multiple, suppose as last time I told, if you don't have a versioning, multiple people cannot open the same app. There are a lot of difficulties. Then the, I mean to say that if you open that designer, you can open only one mapping at a time. You cannot open multiple mapping same time. Okay, multiple workflows same. It's not possible, right? Multi-functional, I mean, Multi tabs is it is not you know it will not work in the Informatica, correct? So the thing here is Informatica. If you want to open multiple mapping same time, no, it's not possible. But coming to IDQ, you can just like if you open that Chrome, right? We have a new tab button, right? Like n number of pages you can open. Similar way, you can open n number of mappings same time, n number of workflows same time. That is possible in the IDQ. Over to one. Okay. So this is the one not possible run data viewer. And if you are using a maplet inside, you cannot call another maplet. I mean, nested maplets is not possible in Informatica, 
for data quality, it is possible. Okay, but coming to this, so Informatica data quality, you will have a Informatica analyst. So it's a web-based tool. We have additional things, so which will be useful for the data stewards or informatic analyst. So they don't have a coding knowledge. If they want to see the data of a particular table, they'll connect to this particular tool. If you want to implement some rules, they can implement and they can view the data. So we have this option, the additional uh, web-based tool, but Informatica, we don't have it. So we can't do the such kind of activity. And the sixth one, so we have a concept called profile in Informatica data quality, which will be very useful to developers to understand the data, what type of data you have, what type of, I mean, I mean, what type of data in the case, what type of uh, values we have, what type of data, I mean, data types you have, what is the possible values you have. So all this information, simply you have to right click and create a profile so you can see that all the possible values in the table. Suppose I will give a small example. So what we face the difficulty earlier times. So if you take like, if you don't have IDQ, let's see, not earlier, let's leave it about that. So if you don't have IDQ, so there is some requirement. Okay, there is a table. So because if you take my current project and uh, there is a table, okay, it is having like a 600 columns. If you run a select query itself, it is taking like a 50 to 60 minutes to give the result. Okay, so suppose there is a senior person, so there is some such some requirement. They assign some work to use, just go through the table. Okay. Just prepare some report. Okay. There are some columns or a valid column. Some columns are not required. So it may allow null values. So some columns only are using out of 600 columns. So they given some work to you, just connect to database and open the table and see that what are the values we have, what is the data types and what is the possible values available. Just prepare some report. They have given, given some simple task. But what you have to do? So you will connect to database, then you have to fire the query, then you have to see the structure of that particular table and you have to go through the uh, query, how they created it and all the stuff you have to do. But coming to your IDQ, there is a concept called profile. You just right click on your table or flat file, just create a profile. It will give you the entire stuff. So just right, right click and run. I mean, just create a profile. So it will give you that, what is the possible values there? What is the data types? And what is the highest value, lowest value? All the stuff it will give you. So it's like simple one step, but if you want to prepare some, such kind of report, it will take like another day. So that saves a lot of time. So the profile concept is not there in Informatica. We have in IDQ, okay? And the another final difference is, if in Informatica, if you import a source into source analyzer and a target into target designer, okay, that should be acts like a source, that should be acts like a target. Suppose you imported table A or flat file B into source analyzer, that should acts like a source, we cannot use as a target, okay. But if you import a table A into target designer, that should act like target only. But coming to IDQ, if you, there is no such kind of activity like source and target tabs in IDQ, okay? We have, we call it as a concept called PDO, physical data object. Once you import, there's only one tab. So under the PDO, it will be available. So PDO is nothing but physical data object, that means, once you import a flat file or table, whatever it is, there is no source, target, or other, other components. There is nothing. So it's just like available under the PDO. That particular PDO, you can use like a source or target or lookup. That's a reusability. That is not there in Informatica. So these are the few differences what I found. So that's what I explained. Okay, so this is very important for 
who are attending the interview. So they may face this kind of question. So it's like frequently asked. Because even if I take interview, I just ask this question. So what is the difference you found between informatic and ITQ? So we explore at least four or five in, in this. Okay, so this is about that informatica and IDQ. At least now you can assume, right? So why IDQ is stronger than informatica and they have more demand? Because these are the advantages you have. Okay, so that you have, because there are many, but I just uh, covered few, so which will be easy to understand. So there are many differences if you see that, but this is like what we expect in the interview. Okay, so this, that's all for today. So we will see in one more interesting topic in the next session. Yeah, thanks everyone.